tomorrow and within 14 days of their hire of the availability of the marketplace, that they may be entitled to a subsidy, but that if they go to the marketplace and if they have affordable coverage at their employer, they will not get a subsidy and they may lose their employer contribution. So there are requirements. It's been out pretty widespread to employers that they need to provide this starting tomorrow and within 14 days of hiring employees. So that information that the employer is required to get out doesn't cost any money? You have to ask the employer. They might tell you it costs a little something. They have to tell the employee what is offered and what percent of their wages. But it does not cost the taxpayers any money? Not that I'm aware of. Dr. Thompson, I hope you didn't give out your son's real Social Security number. No, I gave a fictitious one. I hope it wasn't one of yours. Dr. Thompson, on the qualifications for these navigators, are there background checks done on these people that are going to be going out to people's homes? I defer to Ms. Crone. She's run a tight ship on that and has final qualifications and also the license. Okay. There are background requirements, background checks, criminal background checks for not only the navigators, guides, but the licensed insurance agents and the certified application counselors we talked about in the hospitals. Okay. Have you already mailed out any mailers to citizens, to the president of the state of Arkansas, about this problem? To citizens, yes. You have mailed out mailers? Through Nathan Holcomb. We've also mailed out notices to all the insurance agents and others. So I should have gotten those mailers? We targeted those who would be eligible for the subsidies. Ms. 